one if you can hear me off top melanie gave me one let me let me get some okay lady posh can hear me lady t everybody can hear me hey poison ivy what's going on ladies can i ask y'all a question okay because we were just backstage right and it seemed like we were only back there for maybe two minutes but we have been back there for probably 10 minutes is it me or is time flying right now are we in an alternate universe it seems like today only had about 18 hours in it. I don't know what the fuck it is, right? But it's creepy as fuck to me. It really is. And I don't know what the hell. It's not fixing to send me off the edge. Ladies, if you feeling this way, you are not going crazy. Time is indeed flying the fuck by. You'll start a task at 2 o'clock. And before you know it, you look at the fucking clock and it's 4.30. And it's like, uh-uh, hell no. Who, who fucking with me? Who fucking with me right now? Who turned this clock wrong? Because this ain't real. It feels even funny that it's daylight outside where I am right now. Usually when I come talk to y'all, you know, it's it's a little dark. But I know the clock jumped forward. But this is a little creepy, y'all. What the fuck is going on? Huh? Look, I haven't seen y'all in a Taco Tuesday in a minute. Okay? So we're here up in this building. And you know that if I say that, right? It's kind of important tonight. Listen, pink clouds, crown, clown. That's what it says. Check it. Let's fuck around and find out. Huh? Let's fuck around and find out. We'll get to that when we get to it. What's going on, Raven Beauty? And thank you for the super chat. So immediately, 
immediately. Let me go back to the chat and let me share my screen. Sister Layage, I see you back there, babe. Give me a give me one second. Because this right here is going to have to get popping. All right. So I got a video real quick. Now I uploaded it to my channel. I put it on unlisted or whatever because it's not no, nothing I want just sitting on my channel, right? This channel. Because this is y'all's channel. It ain't mine. It's y'all's channel. So the reason I brought this funky bitch here is because, ladies, the world is really changing around you. And black women, you've never had any protections. And what I'm going to need you to do, right, is to stop acting up in public. Please, I'm begging you, stop acting up in public. You're already aware, right, that black men never protected you. You're already aware that other groups of men have to protect their women first because that's just the order of nature. Pull up. Please stop this, okay? So somebody gets a restaurant reference, okay, because they heard the food is good. <laughs> Ladies, feel free. Whenever this bitch get the cat in the round, if you got something to say, holla it, okay? So she don't like how somebody was talking to her. With black women, you know how most black women are on edge because they live a life that's very unique to others. They're the breadwinners. They got multiple children by multiple baby daddies, blah, blah, fucking blah. They stress the fuck out. They get beat the fuck up six times more likely and unalive more likely than any other race of women. So they're walking around on edge. All you have to do to piss off a black woman is walk in the door. I said... All you have to do to piss off a black woman is walk in the door. Pull up on me. I'm looking at my chat. You don't have to say a word. And this bitch is already upset. Already the fuck upset. So the lady at the counter, she didn't like something she said. So let's go. And I don't give a fuck about that either. Uh -uh. Yeah. 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 Violence already. Already. Homegirl stepped backwards. And because she couldn't reach the girl, you got to knock something off the shelf. Let's go. So she's the first person to cuss and call motherfuckers out their name. Notice when things get a little tense. All of a sudden, their food is nasty. All of a sudden, the food is nasty. Have y'all ever stepped back and wondered how the whole story changed depending on whether the person liked you or not? That food was slamming like a motherfucker before when you came up in there. But now that you don't like the bitch across the counter, you call her a bitch. And then now all of a sudden, magically, the food nastier than the motherfucker. Let's keep going. You thought you was gonna talk any kind of motherfucking way and you thought it was gonna be cool. I don't give a fuck what you gonna do with the video. What you gonna do? You should have listened to your mama. No, 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 no. Stop recording me. Stop recording me. Bitch, I pay my shit. Bitch, I pay my shit. What you mean? I already paid. Now the whole room is against her. Ladies, do you know where that comes from? Your men did not protect you. If everybody was afraid, hey, everybody, but they better not fuck with that black woman because we don't want nobody to show up. Well, that's not your situation. Now you got the whole room against you, all simply because you don't like the way somebody said something. And I'm sure it was benign. I'd bet money on it. It don't take much to, much to piss off black women, okay? We got all type of cussing in public, in public, okay? Let's keep going. I ain't my bill, fuck you mean. The fuck you mean? I didn't pay my bill, bitch. I ain't got no problem with no money. What the fuck you mean, pay my bill? The fuck? Give me my money back. I ain't already paid my bill. Like I said, you can't protect her because she ignorant. No, I want my money back. Y'all saw that? You can't protect her because she's ignorant. Ladies, black women know they're not protected. When they see other women being protected, that triggers the fuck out of them. So she wanted to let him know you can't protect her. Also notice, she said it wasn't about the money, but give me my money. 
Y'all, she's filthy rich. Wait till how wait till you see how much money she got in her cash app, according to her. For my car. I don't want my money back in cash. Put my money back on my car. car. No, you don't. My card is on my phone and I paid with my card, so you keep my money back on my car. Yeah, wait, Why so. are you even talking to me? Well, I tried Why to are you even phone. talking to me? Quit talking to me. Uh oh, oh wow. Oh wow. You should have better people at your front counter. Oh wow. There's that glitch I tell you about. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's, it's weird. It's, I'm almost thinking that black women, a lot of these motherfuckers are androids because they literally start glitching out of nowhere. I'm not going to I'm not going to stop this again because I could stop this shit every three seconds. Hey, knock it off. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Because your food is trash and your customer service is trash. Now you got to say, oh, wow, because you can't control your daughter. The fuck? You don't get to talk how you want to talk to somebody and talking about like I did something wrong to I didn't do nothing wrong to none of y'all. I came in here very decent. Who don't toast a to who don't toast a quesadilla on both sides? Hello? You don't have no answer for that. Give me my money. Give me my money. Give me my money. Do that. I'm gonna give you the digits on the card. Just give me my money. You thought you was gonna sit here and talk to me any kind of way, and you thought you was gonna get by. You can play with the white motherfuckers like that. You can't play with me like that. Because I don't mm -hmm. play like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what I said. That's exactly what I said. She thought she was going to talk to me any kind of way, and it ain't going back. Bitch, you don't get to talk to me like you want to. I'm grown. I'm a grown-ass woman. You talk to me with respect because I was talking to her with respect. Because she was disrespectful, that's why. I paid for my food. I already paid. Notice she has her money, but she's not through. She got her money. She's been made whole, made whole, but you still got to get it off of you because you up under a lot of stress because of all of those niggas you fuck with. I know what your problem is, but this right here, ladies, is something that goes on all the fucking time. And this is the safest one that I can show you because usually they come into blows. They fighting. They beating each other's asses. Somebody stepped up and tried to pay for her food. Again, she don't want no help. She just want to fight. She want to argue. Y'all know what I heard while she was going on and on. Here she go. Here go the other video of her. I want everybody to meet burger and fries. <laughs> that's the fuck all ladies you need to knock this off you need to knock it off everybody's taking a breath when you walk through the door because it's always some bullshit right when you walk your funky ass through the door you've been made whole shut the fuck up and leave by the way they ended up calling the cops cops got canceled because she finally fucking left Aaliyah, do you have anything on this because i got a lot on it i hate when bitches do this yeah, I, I I saw the video and one of the main posts I saw was somebody saying how exhausting dealing with this shit is. And I am inclined to agree with that poster because this shit is very exhausting. And people are getting really tired of the same bitches showing their asses in public. They have no conflict resolution skills at all. So I guess the new strategy is just talk really loud, curse everybody out. Show your ass, knock shit over until you get your way. And she said she had $2,000 in cash app and thought she ate. 
girl, what is $2,000? And why is your money not in a bank instead of sitting in an app? People can say whatever they want about commercial banking, but that's a horrible idea to keep your money sitting in the app. But go off, sis. People should be a, a very afraid of the ways in which these people are being allowed to stand around acting all day, every day. They're trying to make sure that every other group of people is fresh out of sympathy for you when that hammer comes down. And black women, you think you don't have any allies now? You won't have a friend in sight, especially not these niggas. They won't protect you. They've never protected you from anything. Divested women, my advice to you is just get your shit together so when you have to make your move, you can get up and go. Don't look back. Don't tell anybody where you're going. Don't feel sorry for anyone and leave your mammy ass friends like this chick, the, the, your associates and other family members and their sons right the fuck where they are because nobody's going to keep begging these people to act like civilized human beings forever. Just know that because nobody gives a fuck about being called racist anymore. White guilt has run out and so has a lot of people's patience with being yelled at and cursed out by raggedy ass ghetto black bitches. Hell, I'm black and I've been sick of y'all and I never bit my tongue <laughs> about that. It's just that more and more the world is seeing what I've been talking about. So while y'all running around here thinking that we're being too hard on them, this is what everybody is seeing when they look at you. So imagine the next black woman that comes into that restaurant behind her and has to catch the shrapnel of all that shit. She just went in there and started. And that's not a good place to be. That part. Snapple, you got anything? Because I found out a secret, right? I know something about y'all. And I'm finna show it. <laughs> Go ahead, Snapple. Hey, happy Taco Tuesday. Happy Taco Tuesday. Um, yeah, I was trying to follow and I I don't know what the fuck set that mammy off, but when Aaliyah mentioned <laughs> banking with Cash App, I I picture <laughs> the people that the people that primarily bank with Cash App also utilize a check cashing place. <laughs> yeah, and those are people you got to stay away from. They don't know nothing about having a bank account or multiple bank accounts. It's just real dusty and poverty ridden. But that woman, that mammy, that critter, she was extremely disrespectful. That was very appalling. Like I, I literally would have been stunned if if I was on the receiving end of her rant. And I wish I, I wish the police would have come. But you know, I understand. Like they have better shit to do. But she, that's. <sighs> Yeah, I'm tired of it too. It is embarrassing and it does make she and she got glasses on. She looked like a little cute little innocent like black girl. She right, like, if, if she right. wouldn't open her mouth, she looked like she would be like, you know, unproblematic and you can't trust none of these bonnetas, even without the bonnet, child. That part. That shit was crazy. Y'all, because this place is so sensitive, you know, everything goes against community guidelines. You can't show the I want to show y'all a different one, but I can't. Um, I'm going to save that for the FAFO, the fuck around and find out. I'm going to tell y'all what not to say because I'm, I'm they they not playing with y'all anymore. The protections are gone. They're gone because they have too many receipts that you a funky ass bitch. So anyway, what's happening, Melanie? <clears throat> hey, good evening, everybody. Good evening. You know how we talked about in the past, uh, the signs and symptoms and characteristics of brain damage. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is exactly what I'm talking about. These women, first of all, you go into these establishments. You are first of all, you're already projected. Then you do all this. This don't make it any better. That is not proper problem solving nor conflict resolution. Let's just say that hypothetically that woman was a smart aleck. Okay. She could have handled that differently. She could have said, she you know, just I'll left. She yeah, could have just left. Or she could have, or she could have said nicely, "Hey, can I talk to the manager?" Or, or you know, walk up out of there and call back up there the next day. There were ways around it. Melanie, you know what would have been even better? Why don't she go back to her community and ask those dusty dick motherfuckers to make them a restaurant? Y'all the best cookers anyway, right? Every time I see y'all in a conversation up under a white bitch's post, y'all talking about who seasoned and who ate. So whoever know how to season, shouldn't they have some restaurants? Y'all, y'all the best cookers, and you ain't got no restaurants. I'm I, I'm I'm confused right now. I'm really confused. I I don't I don't understand it. It's like they I think they purposely these days, no matter if the it's turkey food, turkey. I don't yes, care if it's food, hospitality, wherever they are looking for a fight and they are looking to be the victim. Oh, it again is very exhausting. What's going on, Kyra? Hey, DZ. Hey, ladies. 
Welcome back to the East Coast, ma'am. Thank you. Well, my thing is, like you said, DZ, why don't they go to the cicadas and buy a quesadilla from them? Or better yet, why don't they, instead of taking out their anger and frustration on everybody else, why don't they turn to the nigga in their life and have it out with him? Like, dang, we all know what this is. She's frustrated by some nigga and in her life, whether it's her man or her son or her hub son, whichever, or some or some cicada that she's trying to get dick from, but he won't dick her down, whatever, and take your frustration out with them. But no, you expect everybody else to just deal with volatile Keisha. No. Listen, um, you need to copyright that. Collard green quesadillas, Keisha, with cheese. Collard green quesadillas built by Tyrone. And I mean, that sounds like paradise to a mammy ass motherfucker to me. Uh, a dirty dick a dusty nigga, a collard green, and a quesadilla, right, with a little cheese, and talk a little shit, and then you can get filthy drunk like most of you motherfuckers are alcoholics. Pull up. What's going on, Sister Leosh? She's still on mute, so let's keep it moving. But ladies, I found out that y'all aggravate mammies. Mammies, you did, you've been lying. Y'all hate these motherfuckers too, but you just can't admit it. This woman here put this up on her, uh, I don't remember what it's Instagram, TikTok, or whatever. It looked like Instagram. She did a video. She said, I used to be afraid to admit this as a black person, but I'm not afraid anymore. Well, what is it that she's trying to admit? She's saying, I really get nervous and anxious when I'm around hood people. So mammies, really? So wait a minute. And it's just not her. How about look in the comment section of said video, right? Right? Yeah, I can't be around too many of us. I know if you know, you know, I'll exit stage left, left expeditiously. Hold on. Hold on. I thought we were bed wenches. You mean to tell me? Are, so you still there for the dig? Because I'm confused. You know what we're saying about these bitches and about they sons and shit is true. But you don't want to you don't want to admit it in public. Why? You think it's people ain't gonna say black? It's anti-black when we say that. I'm sorry. The, look at here. This is the one that got me. Tiffany. We all fail, according to her. She meant feel this way, but we don't need the, this racist folks to know it. Wow. Really? Is that what it is? So, ladies, with this being said, mammies know exactly that what we're saying is true. And they're not going to admit it. There's your evidence right there. So if you're still talking to mammies about what's actually going on in that Blackistani bullshit ass community, know that you're talking to a piece of drywall. It's not moving. It knows you're right, but it's going to tell you wrong. They're going to gaslight you, deflect, and then borrow some money. Huh? Okay, let's move it right along. I can't believe I found that out about your laugh my ass off, girl. Same. I'd be terrified, baby in capitals pull up <laughs> snap you got anything on this um <laughs> this is a cute this is a cute girl she's gorgeous you know yeah, she cute you know she got her whole face out you know saying the shit that we be saying <laughs> right um yeah i mean i think it was funny we were talking about it in discord like it's just funny how this has been a conversation lately on social media and it is what it is. It's the truth. Like uh, more than a few of them are. What do you say, DZ? More than three is a gang. <laughs> it, it, absolutely. Like, like it's the truth. Like and, and Tiffany could kiss my ass. Tiffany, you a whack ass hoe. You a whack ass bitch. I'm talking about Tiffany from TikTok in that comment <laughs> section. Talking about oh, th this how we fail. Feel proofread. This is how we feel. But we don't want that. The race. It's not racism if it's true, bitch. Thank you. It's called a fact, right? It's called a fact. But anyway, as long as y'all are not admitting this shit, this right here, come on, scroll, scroll with it, brings me to this. This is going to continue to happen while you're sitting up here crying, lying, denying, and still sucking it down to the base. Okay? This is a twin sister, right? Beautiful 19-year-old girl. Just absolutely stunning, okay? But with friends like those that you saw in the Instagram post that don't want to say that Blackistan is terrible, nobody around her is telling her, 
hey, it's a horrible idea to go to that club. And then after that, go to a bodega afterwards because you're hungry. Why? Because there's going to be several nignogs around there that are going to fuck you up. Okay. This beautiful girl right here ain't with us anymore. Okay. Both her and her twin sister were stabbed the fuck up simply because they did not want to have anything to do with a Dusty that was hitting on Samaya. These are some, their names are Samaya and Sanaya Spain. Okay. The one with the M in her name, she's gone. She's gone. The, uh, the one with the N in her name, she's still here, but she was also stabbed simply because she didn't want anything to do with Dusty's. So while y'all out here denying and carrying the fuck on, these young girls are going to be fucked the fuck up. And you old bitches, <laughs> the ones that's around my age, listen, you, you, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Somebody, I don't give a fuck. If this is your daughter, if this is your sister, whoever, if you still mingling in Blackistan and you know what the truth is, is you probably should have told her. I mean, you still in Blackistan, you ain't divested and went nowhere. You still mingling. At least you could tell the truth to some bitch that you give a fuck about. But now her 19 years, that's it's over. She's gone way too soon, right? Because you don't believe that fat fucking meat is greasy. Black men are dangerous. I said black men are dangerous. Aaliyah, you got anything on this? Yeah, because I'm also kind of familiar with this story. I mean, again, these stories just keep running together. It's one incident right after another. This reminded me of the girl that had her eyeball been out at that damn bodega or coming out or whatever store that was in New York when that man mauled her like a damn animal and attacked her. And I know that, that her twin is hurt, the one that survived, because not only did he off her sister, but that was her twin. Those girls have been together since they were in the womb together. And then, you know, this is why I avoid them like the plague. They don't even get an opportunity to ask me shit because I'm gone before they can even get there. I'm a runner for a reason. That way I can run the fuck away from a nigga very quickly. J good luck with trying to catch me. Um, I have outrun several of you already and divested women already know what it is. They have no business even being close enough to you to even reach out and touch you. And if they're anywhere in your vicinity, please run like the hounds of hell are after you. Because I, I run their asses in a minute. As soon as I see one approaching and he could be headed in the opposite direction, I'm still running in case he runs turns around. And, but I just want to say R.I.P. to the twin who lost her life. I hope mm -hmm. they find him and give his ass the electric chill. But sad, the sad part about all of this is most likely that it's going to be a damn mammy that's helping to hide him to help him get away with this shit because I heard they haven't found him yet. Oh, I see it right here on it. The police are still hunting for him. Yeah, a mammy hiding him. That's going to be the really sad part that's going to break her heart when she find that out. Ladies, they don't think that you have the right to tell them no. There are so many mammies out here, and this is why I say they're dangerous as fuck. They have given black men, black men the belief that you don't have the right to say no. Your status is a mule. You're the lowest woman on the totem pole on the globe. You should be thankful that they want to talk to you. You should be grateful that anybody's paying you any attention, even if it's just for a quick fuck or roll in the hay, because you ain't supposed to mean nothing. And if you say no, then who the fuck do you think you are? Okay, this is going to continue to happen. Right. And on top of that, Y'all don't like the police. How in the fuck is this even possible? So you got your men attacking you more than any other race of women on average, right? Statistically speaking, by the percentage, and you don't like the very people, the only people that can protect you, and it's their job to protect you. What's wrong with y'all? What's going on, Kyra? Sorry about that. So to circle back to the story that Aaliyah was talking about, the woman in Harlem who got her eye bitten because mm -hmm. because uh, she turned down the, the cicada for his offer to buy wine. Here's the thing. It was a mammy that was hiding him. It was only yep. it was only when that cicada was beating her ass, the mammy's ass, did she call the police and he got found out. So yes, Aaliyah's right. It's a mammy hiding this nigga here who stabbed this poor 19 year old girl and it's only going to be when that rabid nigga turns on her that he's going to be found that's how y'all do this is why i say that you we need to disavow mammies who hide niggas because they only care when that rabid beast turns on them listen ladies take a look at the screen why is it up for debate that a girl it doesn't matter this girl is beautiful 
any girl though, no matter what she looked like, how is it not being told to them at 12 midnight? It's not a good idea for you to take your ass to a bodega. That's up for debate. Really? Listen, honestly, I don't think you should be your ass up there in the middle of the day. Pull up. That's why you should be saving your coins to get the fuck away. But when, why is this debatable? Let me ask you something, mammies. Do you want these girls to be on the live? Because it seems like this is a basic truth. This is across the board. Nobody should be out there. And plus in New York City, y'all pew pew laws are very, very strict. So you sitting up there ass out. With niggas that think they're entitled to you, that you belong to them, you're supposed to be muling, and you had to go here because of a beef patty? Really? Again, fat meat greasier than a motherfucker. What's going on, Miss Snapple? With her pretty self. She's gorgeous. Yes, I was waiting to talk about this. Um, this is another unfortunate situation. I saw it trending pretty heavily yesterday. I saw it yesterday morning. And as of current, it seems like it's already dying down. I think it's very fucking interesting that this particular story is, it's, it's really heartbreaking. And to me, it's just not getting enough, enough attention from the Ashy community. A lot of the blogs reported it initially, but I read an article where the victim's Family members and friends were blaming the government and oh, they were Lord. blaming mental health and saying the system failed the person that did it. And I'm like, you know really? what? This is the problem that I have. Y'all want to be mad at everybody but the motherfucking assailants. Y'all want to be mad at everybody but who y'all need to put the name, put the name, the name the problem. And that's, I, I, and again, yes, I, I think we need a refresher periodically for the new divesters, the mini divesters. I understand that everybody cannot uproot themselves out of urban areas. But as DZ said, you do not need to be at no motherfucking bodega at any point, especially not at night. It, those areas are so fucking dangerous. It's a fucking cesspool. And honestly, like, you have to protect yourself and put yourself first. Like, you have to navigate those ghetto ass pissy project urban ass areas until you get your coin up and get the fuck up out of there you have to be smart i'm not saying the girl wasn't smart and i'm not victim blaming i think i feel really bad that that happened to her and i i just wish they were not in that situation and i really can't wait till they catch the monster that did this and like ladies just be safe just be smart be proactive use your fucking common sense do not go to a gas station in the hood, especially not at night. Do not go to a bit. Well, the, the beef patty is not worth it. It probably got right. roaches in it anyway. It's roaches <laughs> and all that shit. Y'all gonna buy some motherfucking cereal from that bodega and fucking roaches is gonna pour out of it. Like, there's no there's no benefit in going to no place like that anyway. Go home, take your asses home, and eat them noodles. Stay out of them fucking bodegas. You know what kind of attention this should be getting? The kind of attention you motherfucking niggas would give it if that was a white cop that did this to her. I said, this is the type of attention it should be getting. Because y'all would be all over the place because you be using her to say, hey, we're victims. Give us welfare. Hey, give us more protections. Write down more laws because we ain't got enough with it enough crime yet. We need to get away with more. If it was a white cop that underlived this beautiful girl, right? Y'all would be in the streets. <laughs> Am I speaking too early? Maybe it would have had to have been a, a, a black boy, a black 19-year-old boy. Because it just depends on how much attention you can get as a vlogger, as a person with a platform and all that shit. Whether you're going to say anything or not, but they skip right over this. All the details I got off of this shit, I got it from my Patreon members and white media. And see, this just goes to show you that as a black woman, they feel like you're not allowed to say no just simply because they're black men and they ask you out, they ask you for your number, they let ask you what you was getting into that night, whatever it was, they feel like you owe them an answer one way or another. And it better be yes by that, I mean. So it's like they feel entitled to young pussy, old pussy, underage pussy. They entitled to everybody's pussy. pussy. 
right? I mean, it, it, it doesn't matter. They feel like they are entitled to everybody's pussy. White pussy, black pussy, Spanish pussy, Asian pussy. It don't matter. Y'all, they just feel like they entitled to everybody's shit. Every woman is supposed to want them. And when you don't, this is the consequence that you have to face. That part. What you got, Melanie? All I got to say about this is you're right. You took the words out of my mouth. I was going to say any, okay, like like I, like she said earlier, Snapple said, it. if you cannot get out of urban areas, you need to at least have people around you that say, look, stay out of these areas. Don't go here. Don't do this. Da, da, da. She didn't have enough women around her to, to put her on to like stay away from these dangerous ass men. That's why I say these women, you know, before us really do set these girls up. Look. The women that are around, are around her nine times out of ten, fuck it. I'm going to go there. Ten times out of ten are mammies. And if she would have said, hey, mom or sister or whatever, I don't want to go to this club and I definitely don't want to go to the bodega because these black men out here, they're losing their fucking minds. They would have came down on her with a hammer about her being a self-hater, a coon, a bad wench, right? Anti-black and all that shit, even though the shit is true. Huh? Ladies, this is who they're looking for, all right? Oh, shit, I didn't see that extra sip of, of booga wooga lips. I couldn't have cropped it out anyway. Damn, them lips scared me. The thing on the right of the screen, that's who they're looking for, okay? This right here is nonsense, and I already know what his issue was. In Blackistan, y'all, in Blackistan, put your mammy goggles on. He's cute. In Blackistan, you don't tell him no. He's light-skinned, right? He's tall. He's all of that shit that Mammy's like. Them lips, them lips are getting me. Let me pass the mic real quick. They ashy as shit too. Cicelo, Leaja, is your uh, mic working yet? Yes, it is. I was having some connection issues. Hey, ladies. Hey. Oh, hey. Look, somebody in the chat said cute wear. I think he looks like shit, babe. I'm talking about these Mammies. They think anything cute. There was a time where they said Wesley Snipes was cute. Pull up. Go ahead, sis. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> you, no, you are good. I hope Holly agree. So my thing is, folks going to have to, these these young ladies going to have to learn. Stay the fuck out these clubs too. Like, y'all, they always want to party. What the fuck are y'all celebrating? Struggle? If you stay out the clubs, you got to find a new way to have fun. Stay out of these bodegas. After, a, after it get dark, you need to get in the house. You need to treat these niggervilles like fucking sundown towns when the sun goes down have your ass at home find new hobbies that the niggas don't like to participate in to where you ain't gonna even run into these type of dusties everybody can't get up and move and leave their communities but you got to find new ways to have fun and stay the fuck away from blackistan that part i see y'all ladies in the chat y'all looking like wesley and putting question marks and stuff ladies okay if i got anybody in my my age group down there please vouch for me when new jack city came out they said that man was finer than a motherfucker when he's standing there and i'm not gonna diss him like uh mr Rogue. shout out to mr Rogue. like harambe right <laughs> listen ladies they said wesley to wong fu new jack city ass was sexy ma'ams actually I'll, I'll i'll blow your cap off real quick they said he looked better than the character that played g money i don't know his real name but he's a light-skinned you talk about alan Payne. yeah but you so, know what all they have to be is dark skin though i'm sorry because <laughs> yeah. uh, all they got to be is dark skin that's really the only requirement you know but I agree with Sister Slayish. I mean, anything that doesn't, I mean, it's not the most exciting life, but I'm in the house before it gets dark most of the time. Anything that does not get done before the sun goes down won't get done. But, you know, I get it. I, I definitely get it. But the thing is, you should, you should be able to go where you want, when you want. America is supposed to be a free country, but we got all these damn domestic terrorists running around. That's the problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Too. Can I say real quick? Yeah. Re remember when Brickiana was trending and um, the blacks, particularly the Kangs, were very excited to find out that it was a scam um, because, you know, they were like, see, that's not true. Uh -uh. So basically here we have a situation that a, a young lady lost her life due to one of these ashy ass, no good, gutter trash, shit stains that can't take rejection. And I just wanted to put that on the record 
um, this is what happens. This is common. Sometimes it's just fuck you, bitch, you ugly anyway. And sometimes they they pull out a knife like a little fucking bitch and start stabbing and slicing and dicing. So they some bitch ass niggas. And I hope that this one is handled and that justice is served. Listen, so. ladies, he hit her in the neck with that knife. Did you hear what I said? Do you know how scary that had to be? If placed correctly in the neck, you could literally instantly become a quadriplegic before you die. Do you understand the fear that had to be? Because that's a baby to me. Both of my children are older than that girl, right? The fear, if your body goes limp and you're still alive, but you're in the process of dying and you got this weird ass nigga on your screen, hooping and hollering and carrying on. He was so, ladies, he was so arrogant that he left the knife on the scene for the cops to pick up. Bloody as shit. I shit you not. Okay. It is what it is. She probably didn't even see that coming. I'm sure she wasn't even expecting that. That's why I say I really have an issue with them walking up towards me on me. Yes. Do mm -hmm. not even let them get close enough to make any type of contact. I will stop. If you don't know how to stop, I will stop you and let you know. Do not come any closer. Say what you got to say from where you're standing. And depending on what you're trying to say to me, I may not even listen then. Get the fuck away from me because I get very fucking trigger happy, dude. Get the fuck away from me. Kyra, you got anything while yeah. I check the back? Well, I want to go back to what you said about Wesley Snipes. Because we all know he's an ugly-ass looking cockroach, motherfucker. But these mammies have fluffed these niggas nuts so much that they think all of them are so fine and that you can't tell them no. And this is a consequence. How the fuck did y'all tell, say, how did y'all fluff Wesley Snipes up into sex symbol status? And then he turned around, got on, what is it, a magazine interview talking about how Asian women are better. That's what you always do. But mm -hmm. the consequence is that everyday black women and girls are always prey to these niggas who think that they're entitled to us. Did y'all forget he was Blade? I, we already talked about this. He was a superhero. That's all it takes. Get these niggas a cape or some shit, and then they swear they the finest thing walking. <laughs> Look at what they did. Look at what they did with Chadwick Boseman. All he uh -huh. had to be was the, the Black Panther. It's like there was nothing cute about Chadwick Boseman. I don't give a damn what y'all say. What's that really monkey face dude name? He um played Kang. He literally played a superhero named Kang. The one that's fucking on the... the Jonathan fucking. Major. There you Jonathan, go, because I don't Jonathan know Major. these niggas. I don't know them. Right? That's they Slave even, Face. Slave yes. Face. Um, Wolf God. They can save everything but their community, though. Are you Dusty, Wolf God? No, I'm not Dusty. You hear me? Yes, I can hear you. That's an interesting oh. name. Anyway, go right ahead. What you got on the topic? Um, I just want to, you know, just drop this and then leave because you have like a lot of younger women who follow you. I'm 22. And this is why I, you have to like really get educated. You get your certifications, not just for yourself, but for your future children. Like this is so scary. You know, um, yeah, that's wild. That's what I wanted to say, you know, just so your little girls don't have to go to school with these dudes be in their neighborhoods because they are so vile volatile i mean on top of that right now girl that's what i'm doing as we speak right yeah you got anything else wolf god <laughs> also the woman too um to the comment who said that she was jumped because she rejected um a dude yeah that happens a lot in the black community a lot of black girls women trying to jump other black women for rejecting a lot of black men's advances so okay. it's just you got to worry about yourself stack invest and really focus on your future and zoom in definitely but that's it thank you thank you for coming up all right y'all now Crazy. We'll go right ahead. I'm sorry, we... I didn't mean to cut you off. I just no, know the audience know. You see how crazy and obsessed they are. We got one backstage. First thing out his mouth is, "We are fine, bitch." According to who? That I mean, nobody over here thinks that. But that goes to show you he's validating everything that we're saying. He's backstage cursing the women out who have the gall to think that they are not attractive as a group of men. Newsflash, not every woman wants you. Not every woman thinks that you're attractive. 
Fuck that. You're their not. Faces, their faces look like seven day old porridge that's on high boil. I'm sorry. You look like you're melting. You look like you haven't fully evolved. Think you're just uglier than a motherfucker. It is what it is. Uh, black folks are attention whores. Okay. That's what they are. And it, it baffles me to see how many people want attention when they ugly. You're ugly. Black men are ugly. It is what the fuck it is. Oh, Ladies, go ahead. I also wanted to add, um, Maz, I'm going to need y'all to step up to your zookeeping uh, requirements because I just put an orangutan out, but I'm sure <laughs> more of them will be coming. So get on it, Mods. Let's go. See, the triggering is happening, ladies. A black man stabbed a beautiful young black girl in her neck, okay, for rejecting him. That touches their soul because nobody rejects black men. It's a plethora of mammies all over the fucking place. Now, when you show stories like this, it's kind of like proving that you motherfuckers, it's some motherfuckers out here that don't want you. And that can't go. That's why the troll level is high right now. Ladies, you need the cops. OK, the cops are looking for this guy that you see on your screen. You need the cops. The niggas ain't going to find him. Right. And they, they don't give a shit. The mammy's damn sure ain't going to find him. They're going to hide him. So y'all are always fighting with the police. Always. But you need them the most out of any race of women. It's so odd. Ladies, as time goes on, people are losing sympathy. I've said that before and it's coming to pass. You've seen it on these cop cam videos. You've seen it in real life. You've seen it in comment sections. You see it in general because everybody has proof of what a mammy actually is. Nobody has sympathy when she gets in trouble and all this extra shit. I've noticed that when mammies encounter the cops, there's a lot of statements that they say right before they get fucked the fuck up. Body slam, tase, the rest of the whatever the hell is going to go on. Since you need the cops, I'm going to have to require that you stop saying these five statements. Because usually this is a statement that, that you're saying right before your face hit the fucking dirt whore huh i know my rights do you know how many times i've seen a nigga bitch say she know her rights and the next thing he shows her the lefts the cops go ahead and put her in the chicken wing in the back of her arm and she you know acting a fucking fool he knows your rights too the place to get your rights honored right is in court go ahead and do what you need to do on the side of the road sign your ticket or whatever but sitting there telling a cop, right, who has a gun, who has the, the, you know, authority, if you jump bad, to go ahead and put you down, you might want to knock this the fuck off and stop yelling. Keep an inside voice when you talk to police officers. I'm just trying to help you, okay? I'm just trying to help you. I know that you want to get jiggy. Y'all remember the lady we just showed in the very beginning that was showing out in the restaurant? She's the type of bitch that she's going to eat dirt when the cops come. I don't want y'all eating dirt because you're feeling your old Blackistani mammy ways and you think you're ready to cuss some folks out. You usually will get a break if you act decent. But that's a tough pill to swallow for a lot of Black women. I know my rights get your ass put in the motherfucking dirt. Let's go. Don't put your hands on me. <laughs> this is the one that gets you the hands. Believe it or not, telling a cop, don't put your hands on me. <laughs> You usually get hands. It's usually followed by hands. What you doing? What are you talking about? Huh? Just be cool. If you, if all your paperwork is straight, okay, and you're nice, usually you're just going to get a summons, a ticket. But when you tell motherfuckers don't put their hands on you, it's almost like a challenge. You don't want to challenge a state sanctioned killer. All right. Aaliyah, you got anything before I go on to the next three? Oh, they kill me with that. I know my right shit. Well, you have the right to remain silent as well. Can y'all bitches exercise <laughs> that right from time to time? Can, can y'all please exercise that right? Because, see, they will escalate a situation in a minute. The officer could have said, license and registration, please. And then they just start going off. I don't have to show you anything. Do you ask white people to see their license? Why do you need to see my license? Uh, duh, because you're operating a motor vehicle and by law you need a state issue license in order to do that. And why do you assume because I'm black that I don't have insurance? Black people have insurance too. I'm telling you, you cannot say anything right to these people. And I think a lot of people have just stopped trying at this point. They don't care. It's very exhausting dealing with these obnoxious people. And a lot of people are just too confrontational and obnoxious, just like I, 
these, these, these women who say this type of shit and all this race baiting social media whores, uh, they have they have not helped the situation at all. Cause see, there's always someone that to conveniently capture the arrest, but nothing that led up to the arrest being made. So that's usually how that shit goes. That part, that part. Snapple, you got anything on this? I sure do. First of go, all, go girl. You just go. First of all, first of all, first of all, these they know they right. Uh oh. They don't even. I think she done fell the fuck off. I oh. think she done. Uh oh. She, she back. She back. Okay. Oh my bad, y'all. <laughs> that was Sky Daddy telling me to shut up. <laughs> and slow down, bitch. You doing too much, ho. Okay, can y'all hear me? <laughs> yeah. I was just saying, these hoes can't even read out loud, let alone know their rights. They don't even know the judicial branches. They don't. They don't know anything to about the law to be running around puffing their chest out to authorities, saying some shit like that. And the girl on the thumbnail is she? Um, is she like dating out? Because then they say. Um, their hair and they leave out don't be blending because she looks, I mean, her <laughs> hair her hair is looking real crunchy at the top. It's not blended boo. No, she the one that tried a, a black cop, right? At the, um, was it Miami airport? And, um, yeah, it didn't go well. He's a black cop of Puerto Rican heritage. You, you, you know. You know how that go. I'm not fixing to get into it up here, but she fucked with the wrong one. They don't believe that black men don't like him. So he went on ahead and caved her face in. I'm telling you when you're dealing with cops in general, what not to say. Okay, ladies, you always have your day in court. You cannot hold court on the side of the road. I'm trying to save your life here. There's no, have you ever seen somebody get pulled over, cuss the cop out and, and, and the bitch is like, leave me the fuck alone. And he goes, good day, ma'am. I'm going to leave you the fuck alone. And he walked back to his squad. You ain't never seen it happen. So knock it the fuck off, please. And thank you. Sister Layout, you got anything on this? I think she might have fell off as well. Kyra, what you got? Because I'm getting ready to go to the next one. I need a screen thing so I can check on Lady S. Hold up. I'll just put the FBI up here. Pull up. Hmm. All right, Lady S, are you dusty? Is this your real account? This is my real account. Can you hear me, DZ? Yes, ma'am. What you got on the top? Hi. Of so happy to finally connect with you. It's been a while. So, um, yeah, I'm looking at the topic and I appreciate you talking about it. I just want to say that I'm so happy you're putting this up. The circles that I'm moving in, I have really have the time to chat with you guys. I like it's scary with lady, lady coming Anna. ahead with this. Lady, yes. Anna, what you got on the topic? I'm glad to see you too, baby. But I don't want to I don't want to catch up up here. I want you to talk about the topic. Okay, well, I just want to say that you're absolutely right. The decorum that's necessary for coming up, especially election year, when especially when you're dealing with cops, I just want everybody to take heed to what you're saying, because there's a zero tolerance from what I'm seeing in certain circles about um, how things are handled and what's considered appropriate. I think they're going to be coming down real hard next year on certain behavior, and it's literally scary. It's going to be right. a zero tower. All right. Thank you so much for adding that, Lady S. I'm going to put you back on mute, and I'm going to carry on. Thanks, ma'am. Now, <clears throat> I ain't did shit. What? That could be the case. It could very well be the case. Mm. Prove that in court. Telling a cop, I ain't did shit. <laughs> That don't work either, right? You have some cops that'll give you some grace after they do the investigation real quick on the side of the road and it's clear that you haven't done anything. They'll take you out the cuffs and let you go. But looking at a cop and, you know, rolling that neck, talking about I ain't did shit, that's going to escalate. Do y'all remember the fact that cops are human beings? You know how you get agitated with people? Cops do too, okay? Be your perfect, pretty little self on the side and make it to your day in court. You don't want to be having to do uh, extra paperwork. I'll just call it that while I'm up here because of community guidelines. You don't want to have to do that. All right. After they tell you I ain't did shit, they tell the cops you ain't going to do shit. It's funny to me. Who in the hell do you think you are? Who the fuck do you think you are? Ladies, You, I can't tell you all how many times I've seen black women driving drunk acting a fool, public intoxication, fighting in places, knocking shit over, and do not get me started on the shoplifting. 
Don't get me started on the shoplifting, okay? It's always something going on, and then you standing chest to chest with a cop saying, you ain't going to do shit. Want to bet? From what I'm seeing, ladies, they doing a lot of shit. They, you know where it comes from? It's because the protections are gone. They're gone. Before social media, right, cops had to speculate, kind of, what type of person or persons Black women are. Well, we have endless and millions of minutes of real about who the fuck you are. As a matter of fact, you get on social media and introduce yourself every time. Coming up, talking all that shit, what you gonna do, what you got for sale. Sometimes it's items that you didn't sold. Sometimes it's pussy. And then when you get in front of the cops, you're gonna buck. It's not a good idea. Sorry, not sorry. Melanie, you got anything? You ain't gonna do shit. Yes, uh, yes, I do. And I've noticed a thing now. They're, they're yelling for badge numbers. They're pulling out their phones, going Instagram live, talking about, I got my attorney. I've got my attorney, honey. That's the public defender. Thank you. Uh, people, ladies, if you see somebody with a crunchy weave, they don't have an attorney. They don't. If you see somebody with an EBT card and they hollering about they got an attorney, they don't. That, that's just talking. The other shit with Melanie just mentioned that, uh, what's your badge number? I want y'all to know, listen to me real quick. Asking a cop for his badge number doesn't mean anything. He's not scared of you. I'll give you a secret. When you get your paperwork, his badge number going to be on there. So asking him his badge number, well, who, who that's scaring? You I was just about law. to say that. <laughs> you sell that's on the police report. <laughs> I, I get tickled exactly. when, they pull, when they pull these phones out going Instagram live. I be dead. <laughs> what what, what y'all no. think? Is, I can't. I can't. You know, I, I have, can y'all hear me? Yes, ma'am. I, I have said before up here, I believe that black women are the biggest Karens. They're so quick to call out Karen behavior when um, Becky and them is Karen and out. But they're the biggest Karens. Asking us, they they always asking to speak to somebody's supervisor. They're always talking about calling corporate. They always want the badge number. They always and just like you said, who the fuck do you bitches think that you are? How dare you roll up into fast fucking fast food establishments thinking that everybody has to bow down to your ashy, dusty, raggedy ass. Like, hmm. they are the biggest yeah. fucking Karens. You know, way, way back in the day when I did customer service as a job, you would hear you would hear Keisha on the other line and you would just take a deep breath because you could hear the hood rat in her voice. You, you know what I'm talking about when you're on the phone with someone Maybe you're calling into a business and then you hear the hood rap voice. It's like, God damn. It's exactly. You can't describe it, Kyra. It's just something that you recognize. You, it's, it, it's almost impossible to describe. And um, you said you were customer service. Calling into customer service and getting a Keisha is just as bad. I swear to you. Yeah. Sometimes, y'all, I promise you on my kid's life, I'll hang the phone up and try again to see if I can't get somebody white. <laughs> I'll, if I hear Keisha on the other end, she could be the nicest person in the world. But I got some serious shit I want to talk about, so I'm not going to risk it dealing with EBT Isha. So I'll hang up and try again. Okay? Yeah, I'm not with that all, shit. Not all of them. Say EBT Isha! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all the reports they make are done with malicious intent. It's not about trying to reach a resolution or because you genuinely feel like you were done wrong or what happened was an injustice or this just wasn't fair. They tell with the intention of trying to get people fired. You want people mm -hmm. reprimanded. You want somebody to lose their job and their livelihood and the way that they make money just simply because you got offended for whatever reason that particular day. And the newsflash, it don't take much to offend a lot of these bitches, actually. If you don't speak when they want you to speak, if you don't say what they want you to say, if they don't feel like you're greeting them properly or, or correctly, or they're, you don't address them the way that you want. A lot of these people just want you to kiss their funky asses. That's what really what a lot of this shit is about. That's true. Ladies, I am going to, listen, I know y'all not going to stop twerking. Those in the cloud, I know you're not going to stop twerking because you know it irritates people. And when people are irritated, that's when you're most, you're most happy. I know this. It's no secret. I'm black as well. And I know what y'all be thinking. When somebody or you see somebody get like a irritated face, you twerk a little harder. You almost throw your spine out of alignment to make sure they real pissed. Since you're not going to do that, I got a, I got a request for you. Can y'all stop this shit here? Here's the deal. Who is you talking to? Ladies... In Blackistan, I don't know what they have against the word R, A-R-E. 
is is uh, who is you talking to what is you doing you sound like you literally have thorn pricklies on your fingers from picking cotton yesterday when you say what is you doing what is we eating what is wrong with you that, do you want to listen what's going on what is you doing who is you talking to uh somebody that clearly don't know that you know that word doesn't go there but ladies here's the deal right if you say, who are you talking to? You know, some people in Black Asana accuse you of not, you know, talking white, period. I don't like that shit everywhere they go. Soon as you hear them put is where R is supposed to be, you already know who you're dealing with. Okay. I simply cannot. Melanie, what's happening, boo? I don't have nothing. <laughs> I can't. I, I can't. I, I, listen, I can. I cannot with these. I cannot with this. I mean, right, Sonia? <sighs> is you is you insane? You know what I mean? It's sounding like Bubba, goddamn Gump. What? He's talking to you. You know, he's talking directly to you. He said your name. He asked you for your license, ladies. I'll tell you this: it's easy to deal with police officers if you keep a, a pleasant decorum. Seriously. Good evening, officer. What did I do? And then let him or her talk. It doesn't have to be that way. But if you're going to play this, who got the most power game, the cop is going to win every single time. Let me tell you this. Did you know that it's a crime not to tell the police who you are? That's failure to identify. Did you know that carrying a fake ID is a crime as well? Listen, I'll tell you, I think a lot of y'all are confused because you listen to, you know, Internet lawyers. Here's the thing, okay? When the police officer asks you for your ID and it has nothing to do with you driving or nothing like that, he's asking you that so that he can put the people he came in contact with on the report. It doesn't mean that you're in trouble. It needs to be a detailed and complete report of all parties involved. I don't know why. Do a lot of y'all got warrants? I'm trying to see oh, something. Now you already know you are stepping off into dust on the social justice warrior toes. Now that's <laughs> that. Oh, that oh, this driving while black phenomenon, this stop and frisk, this all this racial profiling and all this shit that you see. That's what they're that's what their argument would be for what you're saying now for why they shouldn't be allowed to stop and ask you for identification. Oh, that's racial profiling. It's only going to um, adversely affect the black and brown community. You know, it's like, God damn, but if you're where you're supposed to be, when you're supposed to be there, what difference does it make when somebody asks you? Like, I, I guess I just don't, we don't get it because I guess we're not criminals or, I mean, we're not particularly hostile with the police. I don't get it. Like, it doesn't matter where you stop me at and ask me for my ID. I don't have a problem showing you that. Like, that's crazy. They just like to be anti for the sake of being anti and ladies, you taking L's for it. You're going to go home 99.9% .9 of the time. If you do not have a warrant, right, if you ain't got shit going on. The ID is simply to put your name on who he encountered, period, okay? Look, I've seen a bitch that didn't want to give her ID when she was filing a report for burglary. How is the report supposed to get fill, filled out if he doesn't have a, per, a party of interest or a victim? It's like it, they're uncomfortable when things are going smoothly. Ladies, calm down. I promise you, if you leave Blackistan, the, the vibe changes. It's not an always put your dukes up and let's get it ass vibe. See, this, this, this damn fool backstage talking about this ain't a free country. This is a communist. That would be a communist country. Asking for identification. See, no law and order, no rules. Everybody's just supposed to walk around and nobody's supposed to ask you anything. That's crazy. Okay. I'm sorry. It's not one. It's okay. <laughs> I was still trying to recover from um, <clears throat> EBT Isha. <laughs> EBT Isha, um, I think part of the reason these hoes don't want to show their ID is because they know they're out here committing fraud, okay? Even the low-level criminals of the Black community, they still criminals. They're out here claiming other people's kids on their tax return, committing all types of fraud. They you over here using people's EBT cards that don't belong to them, that are not from their household. And I mean, it's extremely dusty and ashy behavior. I know they like to normalize. That shit is not normal. That shit is very much ashy. 
There is no reason you should be in a grocery store with somebody's EBT card that is not in your household, bitch. You better pull out a debit card or go get a fucking job. <laughs> Daisy. Well, the thing, the thing also... Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you, Snapple. No, that sorry. was Melanie. Oh, sorry, Melanie. I'm just going to add, you know, the other, the flip side to that is also, you know, EBT Isha has some nigga laying up in her house that shouldn't be there. Like, and we know niggas got warrants and criminal histories out the wazoo. So whether it's her brother, her son, some dick she's writing for tonight. That's for what, tonight. <laughs> well, you know, you know how it is, you know. They think they're in a relationship, but he's just coming in to skeet, get him a ham sandwich, and roll the fuck out. But, you know, they're in a full relationship. That's her baby daddy. Lady Shane line. Go ahead, Melody. No, seriously. I've been seeing this trend go on here lately. Okay, say, for instance, they get a call at Dollar General. They get a call at at, a, at some kind of market or store. Maybe the, they even got a call for stealing. She's trying to sell the police officer. I'm just trying to feed my family. I'm trying to get food for my baby. They look in the back of that car. It's shoes. It's fucking wrapping paper. It's shirts. It's all kind of bullshit that don't pertain to feed no baby. That part. They Look, y'all. The FBI is for those of y'all that are in the clouds thinking about divesting, but you're still an EBT Isha. I wanted to let you know that over on TikTok, they're monitoring that marketplace. They're also monitoring the FBI now, monitoring Facebook marketplace, so on and so forth. So if you got a little hustle going on, you might need to stop it. I need to tell y'all something else. I probably should save that for Discord. I'm going to save that for Discord. The reason they they don't want to show their IDs, I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all look at this crew right here, please. Fox 13 News at 10 starts now with breaking news. Up to down, I support in South Parkway. As he began to discuss the traffic citation that he was writing for this particular suspect, the suspect at some point began shooting at the initial officer on the scene. Suspect's name is Ger Geronimo Key. We begin tonight with breaking news. Five people have now been arrested in the shooting of a Memphis police second lieutenant, including the shooter. Police say that that person, the man's name, is Geronimo Key. He is now facing a laundry list of charges in this shooting, including attempted first degree murder. Now tonight we are breaking down the charges, plus who some of the other suspects are. We also have an update on the Lieutenant's condition. Let's get right to our team coverage of this shooting. Fox 13's Kayla Solomon will have a timeline of how all of this happened. But first, let's get to Fox 13's Jack Billiou. Jack joins us in our studio tonight. Jack, I know you got your hands on the police report detailing not only the charges facing that the shooter is facing, but his relationship to the other suspects. That's what I wanted y'all to hear. Ladies divest from Blackistan. The entire community is trash, okay? All of them, they are in survival mode. Did you know that? Did you know that they were in survival mode? Did y'all know? And, and, and I have to apologize to y'all. I'm, I'm sincerely sorry because I should have brought this up a long time ago, okay? And one of my Patreon members she reminded me of it, okay? Did y'all know that on March 11th, which was a week ago, the IRS, the government, has made side hustles illegal? I'm trying to see something. I'm looking at the chat, okay? I'm looking at the chat because I'm trying to see what you got to say about that. Yeah, Geronimo, really? That bitch, <laughs> Geronimo. Did y'all know that? I want y'all to do your research and I'm going to get more into it, into it in Discord. But I want you to know that side hustles are now illegal and they have been illegal for a week. Okay. And I need y'all to understand what side hustles are. Stuff like Uber, independent contracting, stuff like that. So when the, the, the consequences start trickling down, I want you to know that you heard it here first. You need to get your head out of these celebrities' asses for a second. So you can understand what's actually going on in your life. Because Beyonce, she already know what's going on in her life. She even had tax troubles. Pull up, right? Y'all better be careful and read. And I'm going to I'm gonna break it all down for the ladies in my Discord. But I want y'all to see the relationship with these people. It's five people. And why you should divest from that entire fucking community. 
Yeah, that's right, Darcy. Now, Geronimo Key himself is charged with attempted first-degree murder, evading arrest, using a firearm during a felony, and speeding. Those four other people are charged with accessory after the fact, to wit, attempted first-degree murder. New court documents are giving us a clearer picture of what happened and how four other people were involved. Look at that shit. Just look at it. It gets deeper, okay? Because the girl on the bottom left, maybe you work with her. The girl on the top right, you might have went to school with her. That nigga in the middle, he might be your ex. It's all it's all types of players in this motherfucking game. So while you're trying to select who you think is quote unquote okay in Blackistan, you're going to get fucked the fuck up because all these motherfuckers are going down. Let's get to these relationships. They allege Key was pulled over for going 81 and a 55, then told the officer he would not sign the citation and that the officer would have to kill him. That's when the officer allegedly busted out Key's window and Key opened fire, hitting him four times and driving away. They say after that, Key called his mother, Tarazi Pennington. Oops. Oops. Everybody's fucked up. Mommy, uh, Thun, sister, you know, with that inappropriate relationship and a story to tell when she turned 40 about how that nigga touched her. Pull up. Let's go. And told her what happened. After that, investigators say detectives called Pennington, and she denied any knowledge of the shooting. After that, investigators allege Key called his girlfriend, Kennedy Williams. She's accused of ordering him an Uber to her house so he could ditch his car in South Memphis. Investigators say Key also called Zaire Key and Malik Oliver, who picked up his mother and took her to Walgreens to buy medical supplies to treat an injury to his hand. The whole group was arrested at Williams' house. And we've also learned the name of the officer who was shot Williams' house. We're going to stop there, okay? We're going to stop there. So can I ask y'all a question? You know, the ones that think that they divested online, but in your real life, you taking a quick ride to the store with your cousin because all y'all seeing y'all grandma? That part. Your cousin, if he pulls this stunt shooting at a police officer, you ready to go down for life because you don't want to believe that fat meat's greasy? I'm trying to see something because a lot of y'all got cousins like this who you love to death. But online, you're divested, okay? And as soon as the live is over, what the fuck ever. When your grandma and them say come over for Easter, which is coming up soon, and y'all got to run to the store to get some aluminum foil, yeah, you're not ready to spend the rest of your life in jail. If y'all got people in y'all life that's on this bullshit, you better get away from them. And you don't have to see them do something this extreme. Just the way they talk, their political beliefs, the way they feel about baby mamas, the way they feel about black women, the way they treat their mother, the way they treat their children. Little hints are there. Red flags are all over the place. You better get these people out your goddamn life. Aaliyah was tall. <laughs> Uh, is this like a whole, they made this a family affair? <laughs> like yeah. how many of them is the son, the mother, like how many of them are related? Look, one of them is the girlfriend. I, there had okay. to been some wig, wig confiscation there or somebody had a more wardrobe malfunction because everybody looked toe up from the floor up. Why are the criminals be ugly as fuck all the time? No wonder that, um, prison bay thing went viral because bitch y'all be ugly when you get arrested what's going on no, give them I'm their sorry. wigs back i stepped away for a second i didn't hear all of the details that's why i'm kind of lost as i know it was mother and son i was wondering who in the hell else was the rest of these people friends cousins girlfriends they just you know protecting him the dude in the middle who actually was the one that pulled the trigger on the police officer so but they did make it a family affair lord yeah <sighs> That's what that community looks like. Ladies, the black community thinks that the white community in the, in the world at large owes them something. Therefore, a lot of times they give resistance when it's time to pay for things, when it's time to make purchases, when it's time to be, you know, give documents and that type of stuff. They feel jilted. So they, they, they're going to put you in trouble if you sit in that passenger seat. By the way, if the cops ask for a, a ID from somebody in a passenger seat, you better give it up, too, because you can get arrested for that as well. What's going on, Snapple? Yes, girl. Yes, you know I got a I got a mouthful. <laughs> yes. Um. <clears throat> see, this is why. This is what sets us apart from these other hoes on the internet because we drag the blacks. Okay, <laughs> it's not just the kings. It's not just the kings. 
Y'all have to divest from Keisha as well, okay? See how quickly they were willing to aid and abet a criminal, a criminal brother, a criminal son, a criminal cousin, whatever the fuck his ashy, dusty, stinking ass was to them. They were willing to aid and abet him when he had committed a crime against a, an, a, a police officer. And, you know, you just... You just don't need to be around these hoes. And that's why people don't like us. Because, you know, the pro-black women brigade, they don't like us. Because they're like, black, black women, all black, black women, my ass. Half the time, more than half the time, black women are some mammy ass hoes who are aiding and abetting Tyrone, Taekwondarius, Leroy, and all of them motherfuckers. So, yeah, I'm glad you showed this. I love when we get the mammies, too. Because... People be forgetting. People be coming over here real happy when they mad at their kings. <laughs> but we got to get Keisha too. It's all of them. Yeah, Keisha is okay with me until I start talking about her as well. Um, Kang is made by Keisha a lot of times. Um, Kang wouldn't have the power that he does if y'all would go hands off with these motherfuckers. Y'all give them resources. Give him a ride to this place. You go ahead and give him a place to stay. And he gets to live another day to fuck up another black woman. Speaking of BWE, right? A lot of these women that's hollering black women and girls, can I tell y'all something? They don't like black women and girls because they won't tell y'all the truth. They will not tell you that you need to leave that entire community alone. And any woman, black woman, that has something nice to say about that community is a piece of shit. I said it and I would love for you to pull up on me. The link is in the chat. I said, if anybody, black woman, has anything nice to say about that community, they are indeed a piece of shit. They also think that they're victims. This is the thing. If you want black girls and women to be safe, they would have to get away from their biggest predator. Is that extreme? It seems like logic to me. In order to have black women and black girls be safe, you would have to get them away from their biggest predator. I'm trying to see the, the, the extremism and the controversy in that statement. OK, if you don't want to get bit by a vicious ass dog, you get away from that vicious ass dog. And a lot of times if you're surrounded by vicious ass dogs like y'all are, you're going to have to arm up. You're going to have to. There is no fixing them. Have y'all been able to guilt trip them since 2006, 2008, when YouTube first became a thing into treating y'all better? No. As a matter of fact, I had a motherfucker send me a post talking more shit about y'all saying that the reason that they date white bitches and light skinned girls is because they, they have real baby hairs. They don't have to make them. Every single thing having to do with you, they can't stand. But here you go, coming after other black women because they're so-called extreme. I think seeing you hack the fuck up, sitting up on the corner's table, always hungry, disenfranchised, I think that's kind of fucked up, don't you? I think that's you being treacherous to yourself and other black women when you're you're not being honest with them about what the fuck is going on, okay? So don't come for me. And I have no more sympathy left for anybody that's making excuses for the black community. There's your black community on the motherfucking screen. Well, I'm just going to say it like this. And people finna, they think they already mad. They finna be extra mad when I say this. Because people always get up in their feelings about something that somebody said up here. But nobody gives a fuck. And expect, they especially hate it when we talk about their toxic behavior. Specifically when I said that these other women come from other cultures where the women actually wear clothes. See, it's always somebody that got to be offended by something. Well, I said it and I meant it. And your argument is that this shit can be found in every community that was supposed to be the rebuttal. But what you're talking about are the outliers, which are in no way representative of the majority. They there will always be outliers in every community. And if you notice, they most likely have been shunned, disowned or ostracized by their own because they're not going to bring certain shit to their community and attempt to normalize it. However, black women have normalized selling pussy, shaking ass, and not wearing any clothes in the black community and in front of the world. So when y'all run around here talking about who doesn't represent you, do you still wonder why the majority of these people are failures? You got the emptiest wagons making the most noise, mm. the class clowns running them up, and all these trashy assholes being the face of black American womanhood. And you should be very embarrassed about that. But I don't expect the immature lot of you to get that. And I'm 
I'm tired of saying it. Just know to stay the fuck away from the rest of us because I give zero fucks about how you take anything that's ever been said up on this panel. I got a 15 year old and an 11 year old who expect to be taken seriously out here in this world. And they are young ladies, not he men. We had a disease ridden stank holes selling coochie. And if y'all mad about that, you should think about who the real problem is. Because I didn't say anything that y'all haven't already admitted to. And very loudly, I might add, it just doesn't sound too good when I say it. So maybe I need to put it to some music. Then I would have a hit record. And then I could say, fuck all my degrees and my non-existent baby daddy. And just start my new rapper slash influencer career. Because black men call you freaks and hoes. And told everybody else to treat you like hoes. And now y'all are just proud to be acting just like hoes. And you can be mad about me telling it, but where is the fucking lie? They said y'all was hoes. And now y'all bragging about selling coochie on every record you got out now. And you had a nerve to be mad when people like us call a thing a thing. Oh no, divested black women don't want anything to do with y'all or your degenerate ass community and culture. You can keep all of it. And black women ought to be sick enough of this shit to let these white mammoths that want to replace you so goddamn bad have this shit. But clearly mm. black women like being the prostitutes of society. It doesn't sound good, but it's the fucking truth. And my girls, we ain't going. And I don't give a fuck about what y'all other hoes got to say about it. Like I said, if you're a hoe and you know it, raise your hands. Just don't be modest when you step your ass into one of our clinics and one of us starts asking you questions about your sexual history. I want you to admit to all this shit with your chest because you're real brave on the internet and then you get real ashamed when you got to say it out loud that you're fucking niggas and you don't even know their real names and that ain't even the worst of the stories that I heard. See, now nah, y'all want to be loud and proud then I don't need y'all to be loud and proud then too since y'all think this shit is funny but you want to get mad at us for saying the shit out loud though and that's why I don't give a fuck. Ladies behind the wall, this is the thing. Um, what I need to figure out what's going on with the um coochie of these mammies. Somebody is selling a 20 inch pad. Shout out to um, I ain't gonna call your name. I almost did. Shout out to who sent that to me, right? What's going on with mammy's coochie, right? Right now, that you need a 20 inch triple thick pad. What's going on? I know your coochie ain't 20 inches long. That's damn near two feet. That just leads me to believe that you leaking a hell of a lot. Ladies, I'll put the video up when we go back there. But what is happening out here? You're, like Aaliyah was just saying, you're loud, proud, and dead ass wrong. Y'all, it's some pampers that's 20 inches long. Y'all doing this much discharge after fucking with shit log that you need a 20 inch pad? This is, this is getting real interesting. Yes, ma'am. Oh, uh, oh my God. I'm like, oh, I was think I was I was gonna comment on the constant twerking. Mm. But now you're talking about discharge, and I all I could picture is discharge flying while they're twerking with no panties on. I need twerking to be outlawed. I'm tired. <laughs> I need the Republicans to take over, please, por favor. And you know, I, twerking public twerking needs to be included as public indecency. I think I'm tired. I'm tired of seeing y'all hoes bent over like y'all about to take a shit, shaking your asses in public, screaming a. I'm tired. It needs Ladies, to be this outlawed. is the thing, y'all. This is the thing. We come down hard on these mammies because more protection, more y'all protections are being removed, and you're going to have to have people out here that think your life is worth saving, ladies, okay? We spill more tea behind the wall, but this is the thing, and I'm just going to give you the basics. The shoe's dropping. Remember I said that it was going to drop? Well, that motherfucker is in motion. You need more people to think your life is worth saving, ma'ams, okay? And I hope you stay your ass to the end, black women, because Jim Crow is creeping back up in here, and it's been happening for months, and you haven't seen it. It's just not called Jim Crow. Black women, I don't hate your guts. I need you to get your public decorum together. If you a twerker and it makes you feel good, can you please do it in the house? Please. I'm begging you. Y'all have coddled these niggas so bad. Go right ahead. Go right ahead because I got to show oh, y'all something. I'm sorry because, see, here's the thing. 
social credit is on the way, whether yes. they want it to be on the way or not. There is a lot going on behind the scenes, not just in this country, but globally. And it's a lot, a hell of a lot that's going on in this country that's behind the radar, that's falling behind the radar, that's not really being discussed by the majority. It's a lot that's going on. When, I, when we tell y'all people are getting tired of a lot of this behavior, it's because they are. Trust yeah. and believe that. Ladies, there's some secret shit going on. And I don't feel comfortable saying all of it here but ladies please seriously seriously you can't be with these bitches that's with this sexy red bullshit you 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 can't okay i'm seeing more and more of the implication or they're implying that social credit is right around the corner in one way or another you can't be in videos with these people. You can't on vacation do buck wild ass shit and then post it. If you're going to do something buck wild, do it in whatever hotel room, Airbnb or whatever you got going on. Don't do this shit in public because you're going to be judged socially. And I know black women, you don't care about what other people think. At least you claim that you claim that. But I suspect very differently when it starts affecting your pocket and your digital wallet, you're going to say different. Okay. But like I was saying, y'all done coddled these motherfuckers. Y'all got to get rid of some of this, this stuff that y'all been um, fed. Like disabled people are helpless somehow. Did you hear what I said? Let's fucking go. It's arrested a man in a wheelchair accused of a stabbing spree in Queens. Police say he attacked four people at an apartment building on 54th Street in Woodside. First responders rushed two people to the hospital this afternoon and later. You see that smile on his face? This is the thing, because they already know you're coming. That man in a wheelchair, but he was able to stab four people. Did you, all that shit you've been fed, right? That all children are some, they can't commit crimes. Children can indeed commit crimes. Disabled people, if they got their right mind, they can commit crimes too. It's evidenced by what's on your screen. 30 more seconds. Let's go. Later in the day, two other victims arrived at the hospital. 38-year-old Kareem Phillips now faces several charges, including attempted murder. Neighbors say they have tried to get him evicted. Every few months, we have this kind of... Uh reaction from him like attacking people last night an example from two o'clock until four o'clock he was banging in all the doors in the fifth floor doctors expect all four victims to survive ladies can i get y'all to stop thinking that so you need to judge every goddamn thing on an individual basis just because of Oh, ooh, shit! just because a black man is in a wheelchair doesn't mean he's not a black man anymore i'm sorry just because he's in a wheelchair does not mean that he's not a black man anymore. As a matter of fact, I've told y'all a billion times that whenever you provide these extra protections to certain groups, they go buck wild. Look at what's happened since people have been lax on bail and cash bails and shit like that. Crime has gotten all the way out of control. You have to have rules. You have to. Or because there's members of society that don't like the rules and they're going to undo them anyway. And there have to be some sort of consequence for when people break the rules. He's smiling because he knows good and well with the way the judicial system is set up in New York right now. He's probably going to be out tomorrow. Why? Because that wheelchair, it, aesthetically, it looks like he can't harm anybody. But he done stabbed four motherfuckers. All right. What's going on, Melanie? You got anything on this before I move right the fuck along? I don't have anything. Okay. I'm going to drop you to the back. Okay, boo? All right. Good night, y'all. See you in Discord. But yes, um, I'm going to have, I wasn't going to stay up here long at all. I really wasn't because I wasn't supposed to be here on Taco Tuesday, but I had to come up here and show y'all this particular thing that I'm getting ready to show y'all right now. Okay. It's not going to be called Jim Crow. And they did this right up under your nose. This is not the only group that want you gone. Um, black women didn't have to let it come to this if they made a separation between them and ghetto-ass people, let's just keep it real, hood-ass people, let's just keep it real. Um, their children are being attacked by your children, and they want a change to come really quickly. I want y'all to see something real quick. Let me scroll on down, because make no mistake about it, nobody talked about this, and this shit happened five months ago. 
by the way, she had her get together. I want you to, know, you, to, to, to understand that. Let's go. A sign for a whites only mom and tot group in Metro Vancouver has sparked outrage online. The sign was spotted in Port Coquitlam by social media page Black Vancouver and offers children the chance to play with others who look like them. You can pause to read. The city of Port Coquitlam has stated that bylaw officers would be taking the signs down, but the group's private telegram chat seems to be encouraged by the response and plans to hold in-person meetings once tensions subside. Ladies, here's the thing. In the comment section of that video, y'all can go take a look. It's still up. Do what you got to do. Go ahead and fact check me because I know it's a lot of motherfuckers that want me to be wrong. People in the comment section were agreeing with them. Why? The receipt was all the stuff that's blacks only, right? Black History Month, right? You got the BET Awards. You have Black College Reunion. You got HBCUs with the word black in it. And they're saying, why can't we have white? Here's the thing. They bring violence just straight up. They're saying it straight up. Can we have some whites only shit? Nobody stopped her white mom and taught get together. As a matter of fact, it was a huge success. I need you to understand that. Y'all weren't talking about when Facebook went out on, what, two Tuesdays ago? Facebook and Instagram were down completely. I told you that that AT&T situation with the Verizon situation, T-Mobile situation, that was test runs. Ladies, they're leaving you behind. And all you're going to have left is th the Dusties. And it's supposed to be them protecting you? I don't think so. Ladies, mammies in Cincinnati, did you know that 75% of your firefighters quit yesterday? I'm trying to see something. I said 75% of your firefighters got, they got the fuck on. And guess who's going to take priority when there's an emergency? Not you. You are going to get the leftovers because remember, you said that these public officials and all this shit was pieces of shit. It's going down, y'all. How many okay. years ago did we talk about that when they were screaming defund the police and being disrespectful? And we were telling y'all, y'all need the police more than anybody. Y'all need to be back in the motherfucking blue. Not screaming about abolishing no goddamn police. But you know, you can't tell y'all shit. So now it's time for the consequences and repercussions. That's all I know. I'm going to leave y'all with a couple things to research after you finish find out what P. Diddy and, and all these weirdos are doing. Look up the line, the line, just look it up. It's a place to stay. Also look for skyscraper underground. Okay. I told y'all this was coming and it's becoming too late to try and scramble now. So if you have been making plans, now it's time to make the move. Okay. We got election season coming up and it's getting ready to get really real. Your vote don't mean a motherfucking thing. Y'all saw Glorilla over there with uh, President Biden. It's time for, for the small amount of pandering. They didn't even put anything on the table. They just took a picture together. And that's all it takes for black women to vote for Biden. That shit is crazy as fuck. Sister Layas, you got anything? I, I, the thing when I come, when it comes to the political part of it, what a lot of these bitches don't realize these motherfuckers, they have seen black folks in action. It's time for mm -hmm. showing they're going to act they gonna act like they with you and they're going to go right on and go with their best interest as they fucking should. That part. Um, Barbie Johnson, are you dusty? Because the show is like wrapping up. Three, two, one. Barbie Johnson has nothing to say. But ladies, I'm not trying to be an alarmist. I'm not trying to do any of that shit. And you don't have to listen to me. Absolutely not. Whoever does, they're going to be okay. Whoever doesn't, ladies, it's some more shit happening. Okay. And those of y'all that are in my discord, get your ass in there now. Cause I need to expand upon that. Snapple, you got anything? Let me go ahead and put this. At yeah. The can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. So she could call herself Glorilla, but we can't say nigga. I'm just saying. I saw that picture, you know, Biden is hilarious to me, but Biden, the geriatric poopy pants president, you know, he, he, he is so funny to me. He got all the pandering going on with the blacks and they lining up like R worded seals. It's just funny to me. Biden, next thing you need to do your next ad, get some fried chicken and some yep. watermelon yeah some kids and and have them all at a cookout and you be there that'll be the next that'll be the next presidential ad to get the blacks to vote for you oh <laughs> uh, uh uh all right ladies i guess yeah. the talk go ahead 
No, I was about to say, I will say this. The truth of the matter is they don't have to listen to you. They don't have to listen to me. They don't have to listen to Snapple. They don't have to listen to Kyra. They don't have to listen to nobody on this panel. Now, Mistress Rogue, you don't have to believe a word that we say. You could say we all just bear winches. We're fear mongering. We don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Y'all been saying that for going on four years now. Here's the thing. Um, we just gonna wait and see. I'm gonna leave y'all with that. You ain't gotta believe shit. Yeah, I'm gonna leave y'all with that. Just look up who made it legal for certain illegals to have guns. Your jaw gonna drop on the motherfucking floor when you see that baby crunchy mm. time. You need to see who made that legal. You gonna be madder than a motherfucker. Get your ass in Discord. I love y'all and please be safe. And I mean that shit literally. Love y'all, ladies. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye.